Good morning. Hello from Bryson City. So as you can see, I'm outside and it is clear and bright today. It's actually a very good day to be outside. So um, we are going to get started here in just a moment. Um, just a few things I want to talk about. Um, if you, when you go outside today, make sure you be on The lookout for it. That's pretty looking for bugs, I think that uh, bite sting. Uh, it's supposed to be the forecast, if I remember right, today is supposed to be in the high 70s, possibly even 80. So, all of those things are going to be waking up today. So, make sure you pay attention to your surroundings. Um, this morning, I did find a little snake in the area that I'm going to show you, um, but I was uh, checked it out pretty good. Um, I'm kind of uh, fearless when it comes to that. He's a little bitty guy. So I figured it either A was a baby just hatched or B um, um, it was a worm snake. Um, so just a little snake out here eating bugs and stuff in the yard. So we want to keep those kind of snakes. Uh, you want to keep garter snakes, you want to keep black snakes because they all eat mice. Uh, black snakes especially eat mice. So if you don't have black snakes around to eat mice, then... Um, so, let me switch our camera view. So today, we are working outside. As you can see here, I've cleared out this area here. I have a hula hoop on the ground. we're going to make today. So, and I also have prepared some material. I have this uh, sculpture piece that I made. Um, I like to make little weird uh, markers. So this will be sitting on the ground. This is just something fun, man-made to put in the middle of our ring. Um, I have a stone for um, about six to eight inch lengths. I have so I have one big stick. And this is going to be. Um, Put it top. So the first thing that we're going to do is start reading. Um, it's a very kind of use Google Maps to indicate where north. So I'm going to zoom here. This is more or less north. Um, if you um, use Google Maps, you can more or less orient yourself east and north. And of course, where the sun's coming up, where the sun sets, east and west. But use your Google Maps, you can indicate where north is, but then also, if you, compass, you can find north even easier. So this is first And then we're going to come over here and get some more of these sticks. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with the stem here. And just let me put the camera on the tripod so you guys can watch as this develops. Also, Back again. Apparently being outside is not as conducive to technology as sitting on the porch drawing. So um, if you missed the first part, quick update. Material sticks cut six inches apart, four stones, uh, the sculptural piece I made and one flat stone to put it on. And then over here is the hula hoop. So. The camera will cooperate, and I won't use you guys again. Anyway, what I say is some stuff just so that you can look at that uh, other sculpture. Are some folks like uh, Andy Goldsworthy or Patrick Doherty? All of those guys, or both of those guys, pretty interesting.
You can also um, you'll find a number of folks that do this. All right. Now they've moved everything a little bit closer. Keep having camera issues today, so just bear with me. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm in just a one continuous video. So anyway, here's my starting point with the one larger stick. So now I'm just going to take these other sticks. I'm going to start with one right there like that. Basically, I'm just going to come around the side here using the hula hoop as a guide. Just like this. Iris. I have a helper today. This is my dog Iris. Gonna help me out while we do this. Yeah. Sit. <laughs> All right, belly rub. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Let's see what you did. You, you moved my sticks for me. So I'm using the hula hoop here to um, basically line up some sticks. Outside here, I got Irish to help me say hi. So, and so as I go around the outside of the hula hoop, what I'm doing is just kind of putting the sticks on an angle. So, stick, stick. This will take a little while. I just want you guys to get the gist. Um, what I was talking about earlier, too, in case you missed it, was um, there are a number of artists who do outer sculpture. So, including um, Andy Goldsworthy and Patrick Doherty, if you want to look up those guys, all I would recommend, they're all um, but very interesting, uh, and they do a variety of, um, of outdoor sculptures using um, natural materials, natural pigments, stuff like that. Now, I prepped my area this morning that I'm working in. Psst, here you go. So, put these two. So, there you go, that's the basic work on. So, I started to I've indicated north is this direction. And from that, um, we'll finish putting some stick around on the Irish stick to the there. So, I also have these four rocks right here. All this came from the yard. So, when you're doing your sculpture today, remember to get materials that come from the yard. Since I have a big stick up there, I'll put a big stone up here. That's all. I'll put this stone up here and north. This stone here at east, and then stone here at west. Now, the rock in the middle. I'm going to rotate this, try and get it in the middle best I can. There we go. And then and I got the sculpture piece, I mean, not corners, four corners facing the directions as well. Iris is going to help me by eating the sticks. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the hula hoop. So you can kind of see the effect. So there we go. And I'm going to <laughs> you can get a general idea of what's going on with this and then what will happen is over the next few days 
few weeks, you know, other animals will come here and um, mess with it and uh, change it. So the idea being that you have um, created a sculpture that's temporary. So um, that being said, let me turn here so I'm out of the sun. Uh, that being said, um, uh, when I started my video earlier this morning, before it cut off, I said, um, be on the lookout for snakes and um, insects that bite and sting. Um, I found a couple centipedes. I also found, um, I found a snake this morning, but it was not um, a venomous snake. It was a worm snake. So make sure, you know, my thing is I'm kind of fearless when it comes to identifying snakes and wildlife and stuff like that. So if you're uncomfortable, do what you need to do. But um, I just relocated my snake. He's in a, across the road over here in a, in a rocky area, which is going to have a little snake grinding voice. Any questions or, you know, about like what materials that you can use, um, feel free to post in the comments. Uh, also, feel free to, um, the other thing I forgot to mention too, let me turn back around here. Um, when you make your ring like this, if it's loose dirt or loose soil, you have some, um, you have some uh, seeds, flower seeds or something like that. You could plant flower seeds all by your ring. So, that person really sad fish with rust hair. <laughs> I have a wood dog, thought it was going to be anymore. So, so, that way we can get the full effect. A couple more little sticks right here. And we'll put those right here. Now you can get the full effect. Play our directional ring with the stones, with the little direction finder, wayfinder in the middle. And like I said, feel free to put flowers in it. Whatever you want. You can, instead of something fun like this, you could put up a flower pot in the middle. Whatever you want to do. So, all that. Well, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, suggestions for other classes. Uh, post in the comments. Pictures of your uh, outdoor sculpture. Also post those into the, um, uh, into the comments. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you on Monday. And um, I hope you have a great weekend. Stay safe, everybody.